Hello and today we'll be looking at the Mini 3 Pro Return to Home features. If you're a seasoned pilot or if you've flown before this will not be the video for you. This video will be for complete beginners and people who are extremely new to flying the drone. For those who are looking to improve their flying as a novice, this is the place for you. Right then, let's get into it. Top right hand side of your screen, three dots, hit those, that will take you through to the safety screen. Scroll down, you'll see max altitude, max distance, auto return to home altitude. Now the max altitude, set it at 20 meters, max distance 20 meters, and auto return to home. If you're not flown, you don't want it traveling too far away from you. Now this is all pretty straightforward. Max altitude is simply your height, max distance is your distance. Auto return to home altitude is the height it travels back at. So at the moment, we're just gonna have these at 20, but we'll explore these further on in other videos. So now you're outside, make sure there is plenty of room around you. No trees, no lampposts, no kite flyers, no nothing. If things go wrong, you'll need a bit of wiggle room, so make sure you've got space. Now if you don't know how to turn the drone on or what directions the sticks take you, I'll add a link just at the end of the video. Right then, let's get the practice in, let's take off. So take the drone out about 20 meters in distance, about 15 meters in height and press the return to home button on the left hand side of the screen. Once this is initiated you'll see the green circle that will appear. Also this will be replaced by a red circle with a white cross which is tapped to cancel return to home. If anything does go wrong you can press that button and the drone will stop but do not touch the controller. Now the drone will raise from 15 meters up to 20 and once it's reached that it will start returning to home. You'll see at the bottom there the distance indicator starts to reduce as it gets closer to you. Now during this time keep your eyes on the drone, keep the eyes in the area that, it's, that you're standing in, make sure that it's clear, make sure you're not distracted. Once it's over you, about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 meters in front of you, it will start to descend. Again, keep your eyes on the drone, keep your hands clear of drone but ready if anything happens. Once it's descending down to about three and a half, four meters, what will happen is the camera will flick up and then it will start to descend. Now, once it's low to the ground, you will get a notification message that pops up. Make sure the area is clear, so make sure it is. Takeoff and landing on a nice flat surface is always a bonus. So just press OK on the screen and it will continue to drop down and land. Now, you'll need to do this a few times. Get used to it. Press the button, see the return to home, but always keeping a clear line of sight. Make sure there's no birds around. Make sure that there's no trees around. Make sure that it's all clear and correct. And again, if you panic, press the red um, circle with the white, white cross in it, and that will stop the flight. Now here's a different view of how it looks when it's coming in. As you can see, it stops, and then it starts to make its descent. Again, make sure that it's clear, and keep your eyes peeled for in case of any dangers that may pose as a threat. So these things don't happen overnight, so go out there, get practicing. Do this to your heart's content. Keep practicing and learn to trust the drone. The better you get, the better shots you'll get. But as you do, increase the distances. Go out to 30 meters, 50 meters, 80 meters, and just get used to the drone and start understanding the actions and the movements that it's gonna take. And it will only make you a better pilot in the long term. See in this shot again, I'm just looking up and make sure that's clear, checking that the area is clear. It will come down, repeat it as it did before. Camera flicks, drops down, and starts to make the descent. So learn to trust the tech. Now I did want to point out in my videos that there is no color correction, no color grading. The reason for this is I think it's unachievable for most people who have just got a drone to actually know or be able to use things like DaVinci or Premiere Pro. And a lot of content creators out there will show you these wonderful beautiful images that really are not attainable to you right now. So shots like this one of the boat we can see here I've got an ND filter on there, that's that. If you're not sure what ND filters are, I can cover that in another video. 
Now try to keep the video short so you're just not bombarded with loads of information. If you've seen stuff that you've liked today or found useful, or stuff that you haven't seen, leave a comment, a like and a subscription would be absolutely fantastic for the growth of the channel. And again, thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.